Are you struggling to get into action, to change your life in the direction you want it to go? Perhaps you're not comfortable with who you are at the moment and where you are in your journey in life. That's what today's video is all about. If you're ready to go, let's get it. All right, so this morning I received a message from somebody who said, Wayne, I'm not an alcoholic. I just don't know where I am in my life or what to do to make it better because it seems like that it's not gonna get any better. Well, sir, my answer is this. Nothing changes without action. And the unfortunate truth of being stuck in a rut in your life is that you can only get out of it if you're able to see beyond it. If you're able to look outside of that box and step outside of your comfort zone in order to make improvements where it can make each day just a little bit better. Instead of looking at, ah, oh, man, my life is in turmoil. How do I, how do I even begin to fix this? You got to start small. You got to start at things that you can manage. Start at things that are achievable within a 24 hour period. In the long term, you'll be able to gradually improve your livelihood. What does this look like? I'll put it in terms of me. I'm an alcoholic. I have been living sober for seven years. That didn't happen overnight. I knew that I was in trouble. I knew that the way I was living is not how I wanted it to be. And the way that my world was shaped was based off of the inaction that I was taking. I was drunk all the time. I was not dependable. I definitely had character flaws and I didn't really care about much else in my life other than drinking. How did this improve? This improved by me hitting that point in my life where I was like, this is unacceptable. This is not going to change in any fashion if I don't make changes. So I had to start small. I had to start with things that I could actually manage within a daily basis and those did not come simple, folks, because I drank for about 23 plus years heavily almost every single day. There was a lot that had to change. And the first thing I had to change was the way I felt about getting drunk. Earlier on, getting drunk was easy. Getting drunk was comfortable. Getting drunk was who I was. It was my identity. And getting drunk seemed to make big problems smaller. In reality, it made those big problems much larger and definitely unable to be handled in a way that they could be. So I had to start small. I had to start with changing the people and places and things that I hung out, that I did, and that I associated with in my life in order to make the change where the drink was not the most important thing in it. One of the things that I had to do first was I personally went to Alcoholics Anonymous. How did that help me? Because you don't have to be an alcoholic for this to make sense. You can surround yourself with folks that are comfortable or rather who support your goal in life and who support the way that you want to be within your world. And that's what I did through Alcoholics Anonymous. I surrounded myself by people who wanted to be sober, by people who wanted to live without a substance running their life, alcohol, drugs, gambling, sex, food, whatever their addiction was. So we surround ourselves by those who are already successful in doing it and who are making their lives better just 24 hours at a time. Now, the bigger picture can always be at the forefront of your mind. However, the steps to get there should not be rushed and should be Something that you can actually grab hold to. I think I said that already. However, I had to learn how to sit in silence. I had to learn to be comfortable with myself first before I can make those changes that were necessary. Now, if that makes sense for you, do that YouTube thing. Give a like, leave a comment, listen to my computer beep, and perhaps... If you get any value out of this channel at all, consider subscribing because something you say or you see 
may be a benefit for you or someone else in your life. So that was another thing that I actually did in order to improve my life. I started this channel. I started this channel because it gives me a daily perspective on my alcoholism, the improvements that I'm making in my life, and what I can do to help other people. Because when I was drinking, one of my fatal flaws was helping myself oh. and only caring about myself. So folks, in a nutshell, that's how I got my life back in track because it was definitely in a downward spiral and my life was definitely not what I wanted it to be. So I had to make achievable goals and I had to do certain things in order to make that happen. You might be watching this video right now saying, how the hell does this apply to me? He's an alcoholic. He has nothing to do with my daggone life problems. I'll tell you how. Because the, the principles and the methods are similar regardless of what you come from, what background you come from, what creed you are, what crisis you're going through. If you make small achievable goals that you can reach on a daily basis, your life will improve dramatically in the long term and you'll be able to reach those potential goals that you're looking for. Life's a garden, folks. Dig it. I appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel so far, and I'm not going to waste a whole lot of your day. However, folks, I love each and every one of you. And for those who I've made contact with through this channel, God bless you. I'm still in your corner. Don't give up, folks. Life can be fun. Life can be fulfilling. Life can have joy. And it doesn't have to mean you're stuck in a rut.